Okay, so this is a one minute tour. Here we are. The orange menu shows you what it is you're fundamentally interested in. You can look at files and folders, which is like the finder. Go deep actually goes down as far as it can go and grabs every file below where you're looking. Spotlight is just like a regular spotlight search. Here I'm going to show if I do this one, I'd show all the images, say in, in whatever place I select. So first of all, I'm going to say we're going to go deep and then I'm going to go deep on my downloads. This menu is which location I'm searching. So I can search anywhere, which is on my computer. Plus, if there's any attached network drives, I can search. This is just a listing of different places I've searched recently. And then here's all the places that I usually like to search. So here I am in downloads and I've gone deep. So it's gone through and it's found 508 files by searching not only the downloads folder, but everything below there. And as you can see, there's there's 10 JPEGs in there. So if we want to have a look at the JPEGs on my downloads folder, I've just done it right there and created this query, which is actually with just clicking, not, not any sort of really hard thinking. And the nice thing about it is I don't have to wonder if it, Leap is showing me everything that there is to pick from. Like these are all the, the kinds of documents that are in there. So here I've clicked on tagged files and anywhere. Tagging allows you to add keywords or tags to and as many of them as you want to any document on your computer or on the network and then pull up the document by the tag. So here I've opened up, I've compressed all the file types because I'm not worried about those right now and I'm just going to look at all everything tagged global warming and I can see where all those documents are on my computer over here or actually in my old folder and then if I want, I can go in and have a look at those at those documents. So that's great. How do you how do you add tags to documents? Well, if I just click on the tags, the tags are right below the document. I can just add a tag, and then and then press Tab, and I'm on to the next next document. So the uh, and here, if I mouse over, I can see all the tags that are on these documents. If I if I want to uh, and you don't have to start you can start in any search and add tags so if I look at pages documents there's no tags on there so I uh, I want to add a tag uh, family and I want to add a tag of uh, work that and then uh, I'm able to add add tags quickly with that workflow and use them as soon as they're in over here Bookmarks. Book, these are bookmarks here. And with Leap, you can, of course, create your own bookmarks, reorder them, organize them. And when you click on them, you go exactly where you... So that, that is showing me all the files and folders in anywhere. Here's everything in my downloads folder. There's everything on my desktop, which I cleaned off so I can make these videos. Um, there's my utilities. Yeah, Command Shift A will give me my apps. Command Shift U gives you utilities. There's a lot of finder like key combinations that work. If I press Control Command Space Bar, it brings Leap to the front no matter where Leap is. And if I've got something copied onto the clipboard, it does a search on that right away. So that's really nice. This again opens and closes the the folder thing, which shows you where everything is. Bookmark organization. So Leap shows bookmarks up here. When you first run it, we give you a few built-in bookmarks. You can edit the bookmarks over here. Press this button, they all come up. Resort them. If you wanted to put two of them into the same folder, I could add a folder of, and then just drag a couple of items in there. And then here, you can see I've added. So you can view your images however you like. Here they are in a grid view. You can change the uh, size of the thumbnail that we show. But if sometimes you might not want to see a thumbnail group or you might want to group your results. So here they are grouped by date. So these are all done in the last two months because it's a part of my work folder. I can also view my file size and then I can see the large files here. These are the largest files, and it's it's really nice because you know, maybe the small files, you know, like there's a thousand of them. I'm not interested in those right now. I just keep that closed up.
So I can also go into the list view and you can see, group things by tags. You can sort them on any of these uh, things. And then, and then here's all the tags that are set for these images. And I guess a couple of them were actually downloaded from image stock image services. So all the keywords that the stock image service put on are available here by, by hitting the keywords on and off here. So, so quick look and the magnifying glass and a few other things about images. So if I want to use a quick look on a thing, it's just like the finder, click spacebar, up it comes. I want to resize that, maybe put it over here. I want to look at a few items so I can and go through here. The loop is handy if you don't maybe have room for that on your screen or if you just want to see if the image is in focus or if it, or the high detail on it. As you can see, that's quite a high resolution shot there. Now, one other thing that you might notice here is that Quick Look has put these borders around the images, which that's what Apple uses in the Finder, and it looks kind of nice. But if you are, you know, want a more professional sort of feel, you might not want the borders. So you can just turn them off here, and that gives you an idea of what what the image actually looks like, and that allows you to uh, to see any image, like the see-through parts of it and whatnot, the transparency and all that come through. So you're actually seeing the actual image here.